Assalamu alaikum, grade 6. Welcome again to the physics session. Today, inshallah, we're gonna to start the lesson number 2. And this is chapter, chapter number 2. And this is chapter 2 again about the forces. So, today we're gonna to talk about the two big forces in our lives that's fraction and gravity. So, the title of today fraction and gravity. And you can imagine about the difference between the fraction and gravity fraction is the force that occurs between two surfaces that's rubbing together but the gravity that's flow down the objects to the earth surface or that contract between two objects so in the beginning what meaning the fraction what's the meaning of fraction force or what the factors that affecting the fraction in the beginning, the force that two surfaces exert on each other when they rub against each other, it's called fraction. So, the force that occurs between two surfaces, that's called fraction force, or rubbing together, that's called fraction force. So, what's the factor that's affecting the fraction? Fraction acts in direction opposite to the direction of the motion so in the normal state the direction of fraction force that's opposite direction of the object's motion again fraction opposite direction the motion so Two factors that affecting the force of, fra of fraction. Number one, the type of surface. Number two, how hard the surface are pushed together. So we have two factors that affecting the fraction. The number one, the type of surface, and number two, how hard the surface are pushed together. So you can see fraction. Force that force occur between these two surfaces that's rubbing together. So the fraction force or direction of fraction that's opposite the motion. Okay, so this is the object to motion in this direction and fraction in opposite direction. And we have two factors that affecting the fraction. Number one, the type of surface between the objects and the surface. In a fraction and how hard the surface are pushed together okay you can watch that video that describing the fraction between the while of this toy car and the surface So you can watch the attraction between the wheels and the surface. So this is video that's describing the fraction and how the fraction that's affecting the tissue under the wires. So the fraction force is the force that uh, occurs between the two surfaces rubbing together. And the factors that affecting the fraction force is the uh, 
the number one, the type of service and how hard the service that pushing to go. And the direction of friction force, that's opposite direction with the motion of a object. Now, there is different kind of fraction. So, there are four types of fraction. Number one, or fraction force. Number one, sliding fraction. That's a cure when two solid surfaces slide over each other. So, that's fraction, or that's kind of fraction. Sliding fraction, that's a cure between two solid surfaces. And then it is uh, having when the slides together. You can watch that video that's describing the uh, sliding between this spoon and the chair. And that's uh, depend on the kind of or type of surfaces between the phone and the chair and the how hard that pushing together. So number one or kind number one of friction, sliding friction that's occur between the solid surfaces like phone and chair and that's happen or occurs between sliding together. So this is number one. Number two, static fraction. What's the meaning of static? Static in physics meaning that not moving or objects in aren't moving or not in moving state. So static fraction acts between objects that aren't moving. So this is fraction occurs between the objects aren't moving. Like this is book and chair. Between the book and the service of chair, that happen or that occur, that is fraction. Called static fraction between the book and the chair, that occur the static fraction that acts between objects aren't moving. Number three, adds fluid fraction. Fluid. Huh? Fluid meaning liquid. So occurs when a solid object moves moves through a fluid, liquid, water, any liquid. So the fraction that occur here between the water and the surface called fluid fraction. Fluid, the fluid fraction occurs when a solid object move moves through a fluid or any liquid rolling fraction what is the meaning of rolling fraction rolling fractions that occur when an object rolls across a surface like this is oil so the oil of the toy car that's kind of fraction called a rolling fraction so we have four kinds of fraction force number one sliding that's happen between the two solid surfaces sliding together each other or like phone and chair a static fraction that occur between the two objects aren't moving like bot and the chair uh, fluid fraction that occur between the liquids or fluid and the solid objects like this rolling fraction like uh, the oil of uh, solid car that occur when an object rolls across a surface so this is four mine or four main uh, fractions or kinds of fractions you can watch this video that uh, can make a summary for the types and what's the meaning of fraction the force that two surfaces exert on each other when they rub against each other is called friction Static friction acts between objects that aren't moving. When an object is moving, friction acts in a direction opposite to the direction of the object's motion. Sliding friction occurs when one solid surface slides over another solid surface. In general, rough surfaces produce more friction than smooth surfaces. Friction increases when surfaces push harder against each other.
Fluid friction occurs when a solid object moves through a fluid. Fluid friction is easier to overcome than sliding friction. Rolling friction occurs when an object rolls across a surface. Rolling friction is much easier to overcome than sliding friction for similar materials. Excellent. So this is a video that's explaining the kind and meaning of friction and the types of friction, four types. We have uh, rolling and fluid friction, uh, sliding friction and static friction. Now you can go to the next step in our lesson today is the gravity. What's the meaning of gravity and what is the factors that affecting the gravity? You can watching this is this is picture and uh, you can absorb the affecting the gravity in this is body body. Gravity is a force that pulls objects toward each other. Gravity keeps the moon orbiting the earth. It keeps all the planets in our solar system orbiting the sun. So we have two kinds of gravity in our lives. Number one, the gravity occurs in earth that's called the gravity surface between the objects and the earth surface and the kind number two of gravity universal gravity that occurs between the planets and the stars and other objects in the space so we have two kinds of gravity global gravity or earth gravity and universal gravity but in the simple words gravity is the force that both objects toward each other. Any two objects that toward or acting together that's called gravity. And this is the effects of gravity. So universal gravity. Number one, the law or the law of universal gravity that's discovered by Newton, as Hack Newton, it states that the force of gravity acts between all objects in the universe. That's what I said. And that have masses. Any object in the space have masses that can make gravity. So any two objects in the universe that have masses attract each other. So the sun have a large masses in the solar system that can make contracts between other planets and make the gravitational waves or gravitational force that the Einstein that's talking about this is force gravitational war so any two objects in the space have masses can make the gravitational force or gravitational waves like this this is wave can affecting the space and the contract between together and here we have the general law of gravitational waves uh, in the universal gravity between each object and that's occurs if the force equal the gravitational status and the mass of two objects and the distance between them so the factors that affecting uh, of the gravitational force the two factors affecting the gravitational attraction that's between objects mass and distance the more masses an object has a greater it's a uh, gravitational force uh, the short the distance between uh, one object and another that's short uh, stronger that gravitational force between the objects 
again the law of gravity that describing the force of uh, gravitational force that's equal g that's uh, gravitational universe and the m that masses for two objects and are the diameter of this is object so in the simple word two factors that affecting the gravity mass and distance between the two objects so we have another phenomena here in gravity that mass and weight and we have misconceptions here between the mass and weight each one of the if you that can uh, make a difference between them mass and weight weight we have different meaning here in between the mass and weight and in gravity you can watch here this is dog in uh, in uh, different planets or different objects in the universe earth 16 newtons that's what's meaning moon 10 newtons uh, mars 20 newtons that's what's meaning this is numbers for the same dog weight is the measure of the force of gravity on an object so the weight in the earth the difference between the earth and another planet why because the gravity in earth difference in other planets in moon or mars or something like that but mass is that measure uh, or measure in amount of matter in an object so this is stable in earth or another planet in anywhere the mass is stable measure the amount of matter in an object but the weight difference place to another place difference d to the gravity in this is place so and any given time your mass is the, is the, the same on earth and it would be on other planet anywhere the mass is stable but your weight that's very uh, what uh, very in uh, and planets that sense or uh, the strength of each planet gravitational force is different so this is like the same masses in other planets but the difference weight and weight that by Newton 60 Newtons 10 Newtons and 20 Newtons that's difference in weight in another planet and uh, the same masses so today we're talking about the two big forces in our lives the fraction and gravity fraction or the mini fraction fraction that's occurred between the two surfaces that's rubbing together and affecting a factor affecting the forces uh, the fraction force that's number one the type of surface and the how hard the rubbing together or push it together number two the kinds of fraction we have four fluids uh, and uh, fluid and rolling and static and sliding fraction gravity we're talking about gravity is the meaning that acting any object acting towards uh, to, uh, together that's meaning gravity and we have two kinds of gravity gravity in earth and gra universal gravity between the objects in the space and the law of universal gravity that's discovered by Newton and that's talking about the F or force that's equal G M1 times M2 by the R squared that's meaning the diameter between those two objects and each two objects in the space that's between between them the gravitational force or uh, universal gravitation between them and that's depending of the distance between them and mass of each other so mass and distance that's the factors that affecting the gravity and we have or uh, we should know what's the difference between masses and weight mass that's stable in anywhere but weight that's different between the place and another place uh, that's due to the gravity in this place or gravity force in this place so this is the end of this lesson I hope you understand what I said and study well goodbye